How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go over exactly candy stock. What is the potential for this company, ticker symbol KNDI? Now this is an electric vehicle company that's in China. We're gonna go over exactly this company's association with NEO and why this company can have a huge growth potential for the future. So we're gonna go over exactly this important information coming up. As you can see over here, the stock has been breaking out to the upside significantly. It's up 15.7% of the upside. It's close to $13. You know, we talked about it yesterday and a few days ago when it was breaking out. So it's really great to see the stock breaking out. Now we're going to go over what is the potential for this company, where it's founded, who's the CEOs, and what is the potential for this company for the future. So we're going to go over exactly this presentation that they have over here. So as you can see over here, this is the investor presentation. So if you're somebody or some hedge fund and some other institution investors that wants to get involved in this company, this is the presentation that they go through to watch and to specifically identify exactly what this company is about, who's the CEOs, what is their price target, what is the market share that they're trying to compete with, you know, what's the other companies that they're working with, etc. So I'm going to go over this exact presentation right now. So who is Candy? So the ticker symbol of this company, of course, is KNDI, and it's a pioneer in electric vehicles, nearly two decades of success, and founded in a based in Zhuan, China, near Hangzhou. So yeah, sorry about my pronunciation. I'm not Chinese, so I don't know how to speak Chinese. So I have issues pronouncing you know, the specific language over here. So the product spanned the value chain of EV sales in China and the US. So this is important, you know, because NEO is right now when you're looking at NEO, it's only in China. So of course they're expanding to Europe and they also are working on RoboTaxi, but this company is also involved in the US. You know, in yesterday's video, we talked about some of the tax rebates that people are getting right now, specifically in the state of Texas. If you want to buy the vehicles, you get 2000 above $2,000 in tax rebates. So you'll be able to get the vehicle for cheap, you know, so that is one of the advantages right now. And uh, the company got enlisted in the NASDAQ in 2007. And one of the important things you want to be looking at right now is also the history of innovation right now. So in 2002, the vehicle was founded. And right after that, one year later, it launched the first mini pickup truck, you know, so they went straight into work and they eventually started to produce the vehicles. And in the 2006, they started development of a pure EV vehicle and they opened ATVs production lines with 100K per year capacity. So that is really great. And as, as you know, in China, that when they build factories and things like that, they work super fast and the factories are established really quickly. So 2008, 2008, our first EV exported in the US. So that is really great. You know, right now we're in 2020. That is approximately 12 years ago. So that is really great. So the company really has a lot of history when it comes to that and NASDAQ IPO. And that's why they got enlisted and you're able to invest in this company in the US. So it's been trading for a while now in the American company and the American markets. That is great to see. And also 2000 side started development of the EV with smart battery swap systems, you know, so this is game changer, right? So what is the other company that uses battery swaps? That is of course, NEO. So NEO is a company that uses this technology. And then we're going to talk about later on, like who invented this specific technology. So 2017, they founded an ivory relationship, 2018 candies, you know, consumer sales of EV in China exceeds 70,000. So that was really great. 2019, US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration approves K23 and K27 for import to the United States. That is fantastic. 2019, that was a game changer move for them. That's why you're seeing their vehicles in the US, specifically in Texas. So Candy EV approved by China, NDRC, and MIT officials become a dual qualified pure electric passenger car manufacturer. That's great. And also 2020 launch event and pre-sales for K23 and K27 models in the United States. So this is currently what we're sitting at right now in 2020. So this is going to be the CEOs for the company. So the chair executive officer, which is CEO, is Mr. Hu over here. We got Alan Lim, which is the chief financial officer, and Johnny Tai, which is CEO of SC Auto Sports. You know, so that is really great. These are the companies you can definitely go and do more research about the credentials of this company. And of course, you know, they're leading the company. They definitely have experience when it comes to electric vehicle companies and they're trying to expand this company for it to grow. So the investment highlights that we're going to be talking about, the large market, diverse line of businesses, and some of the strong partners that this company has right now. So they are tackling, of course, the massive market opportunity, which is 
the Chinese market. So China is the largest EV market in the world, over 50%. So that is a lot. When you're looking at the world, that's like 50%. That's huge. So the 2022 forecast is 2.2 million vehicles. So that is also a significant number to hit and over 40,000 annual growth from 2017 to 2022. So 2017, they're sitting at right around over here and their 2020 goal is to sit right around over here above units, you know, this is the amount of units that they're talking about. So that is really significant, huge. And also the massive market opportunity when you look at is China market dominated by entry level vehicles and Canly specializes in entry level. So the mainstream price for vehicles is 21,000 to $21,000, which is gonna be the RMB equivalent. And also the mainstream range is between 90 to 120 miles. So now the other important thing that you wanna be looking at is of course, the diverse lines of businesses. So this company is not only just a manufacturer of electric vehicles, so it's active across the whole EV value chain and less dependent risk for any segment of value chain, also multiple opportunities to monetize technology innovations you know so who's getting involved and who's using the battery swaps neo and the battery swap system was invented by candy so candy invented the battery swaps and it is a vanity innovation fully automated high effective and one click battery swaps into 90 seconds you know so that is really great and also the ev sells in us and china entry level mass market vehicles and the ev parts also the sell and a variety of parts to multiple oems and developing new markets like EVs that allow battery swaps, you know, so this is one of the technologies that NEO uses and Candy is not only just a manufacturer of electric vehicles, you know, they also have another business, which is battery swap systems. You know, that's, uh, that's what they provide. Of course, if NEO grows, of course, Candy is going to be the one that's going to be providing them this specific technology. That's why they install and things like that. So off-road and ATVs, you know, Motor Day 2020 best off-road Go karts candy is a top pick. So this is another you know model that they have right around over here. So the diverse business lines of EV is going to be the new models, going to be K2 23 and the K227 sold in China and the US. So these are the two models right now. They're available in the US. This one is the one that's available in you know in Texas and also this is going to be in the US. And this is the one that I really like, which is the Maple 30X. I like it a lot. It looks way better. The design looks way better, from my opinion, from the K2 and K23. And the size functions, you know, price aimed at large mouse markets and also the Maple 30X crossover sold by affiliate company Feng Xing. So they're selling it at, at the current moment, you know, so that was really great to see. And also it's really super affordable, you know, so when you look at electric vehicle companies, some of the competitions, of course, you know, Tesla is trying to work on their battery technology so they can be able to lower the cost of their vehicles and that is one of the things that they're trying to get market share you know so of course people do not like want to spend a lot of money and they want to attract the average you know person that's living in china you know so the average person of course you know they want to save money and as long as they can provide an affordable vehicle they're going to be able to deliver that vehicle and their sales going to be increasing and so the k27 is affordable starter ev the first thousand for as low as nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine after for a little tax credit and the one you go up from that, you got the K23, which is the next step up, which is as low as 19,999 after federal tax credit. So this is gonna be great for the urban family. And this is one of the things that you wanna attract if you wanna save the environment, if you wanna save uh, your money in gas and get a federal tax credit, things like that, you know, definitely people are gonna be checking out this company. So the US launch opens new market, so it's really great. The virtual launch event started in August 2018. You know, that was the day that they launched and tens of thousands of viewers and over 700 of pre-sale deposits. You know, that's really great. They have pre-sales and deliveries starting in Q4 2020. So definitely look ahead. You know, their Q4 earnings, we're gonna be looking at exactly what are the people sales they get. If they have uh, more delivery numbers and they have the pre-sale orders, they're gonna be announcing that. And that is gonna be where we can see the potential stock price to even go higher also. So exploring local manufacturing options, you know, so that's one of the things that they talked about exactly in the launch event, you know, so you can definitely check out the video. I'm probably gonna post it the video later on or some other time in the future. If you guys want to just let me know in the comments section below if you want to watch this specific video they have. So the US launch and the buzz is real. So all the article that came out about this specific company. So now this is the model that I really like, which is the Maple 30X, which is gonna be produced by affiliate Feng Xing and introduced in H1 2020 in China, follow a Maple 6 
be recently announced you know so i like this car design better than the other two models that they have over there it looks attractive in the eye and i personally you know like this car better and one of the important things that i talked about of course is the battery swap systems that neo uses which is invented by candy in 20 2009 so that's fantastic fully automated one click battery swap in 90 seconds and this is what neo uses at the current moment and one of the things that you want to be looking at so this is also an extra model that they have over here which is an award-winning and fun off-road and atvs now this is another vehicle design this is sold also in china and the united states too it's really pretty cool and now when you look at this the partners that they have over here Feng Shun automotive result of joint venture between you know gilly and candy candy currently owns 22 percent of Fengxing and Gilly is one of the largest private auto companies in China. And sales of Maple 30X started in 2020. Maple that 6V recently launched. So that is really great. And also another partner they have is Ride Sharing Alliance. This is also a third party partnership that they have they work with. And they use their different models over here. And these are gonna be the main financials for Q2 earnings that they have over here. So of course, you know, the stock price significantly, you know, it did not really react positively to, to their earnings reports when they announced it, but the stock really started to rally after they announced their earnings report you know so that is one of the great things to see and if they have really great earnings numbers for the future and deliveries and they start selling in the u.s you know there's some pre-orders deposits that kind of happen so for q3 for q3 q4 when they announce their earnings reports they are going to be able to you know release that number and if that is really good the stock could potentially go higher and higher so this is in general the brief presentation about this specific company and when you look at the stock price Right now, sitting 15% of the upside. So it broke out significantly from the price point of around you know, $10.60 over here. This is like a multi month breakout. You know, once they announced their earnings, really did not do that much. You know, the stock actually gapped down, you know, in spite of the earnings anticipation move. And right now, it's just breaking out significantly the upside. You know, a lot of people are getting attracted to this. You know, there's not a lot of, you know, institution investors over here. And, you know, there's just retail investors and some other insiders that own this company at the current moment, you know. So if you like it, you know, definitely give it a try for the long term if you believe in the company. But in the short term, also, it definitely has the potential, you know, to spike up significantly, lock in your profits. But this is definitely a company you need to be watching, you know. You, if you, even if you want to get involved in it, just keep it on your watch list and see if there's going to be more positive news. If there's going to be when they announce their Q4, Q3 earnings reports and see exactly if you like their numbers and their growth and what they can come up with you know so we saw exactly the history of the company so definitely keep an eye keep an eye on it and see what is the potential for the future so if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below but make sure you subscribe to the channel and also if you want to sign up for webull and also check out you know some other links available in the description box below but i catch you on tomorrow's video have a wonderful day mm -hmm.